<laughs> when you're sliding into first and you're feeling something burst, chins. When you're sliding into third and you feel a juicy turd, chins. When you're sliding into home and your pants are full of foam, chins. Chins. So this battery sucks. Let's find out why. So I got this battery from Amazon. Um, they retail for like a hundred bucks. I, I didn't pay for this. Amazon sent it to me for free in exchange for an honest review. So I wrote an honest review on Amazon and uh, now I'm making an honest review for you guys. Because uh, this battery, is, it's garbage. It's, it's just doesn't live up to uh, its potential. I mean, I, I didn't really have any high expectations, but it's a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's a 20 amp hour battery, and uh, it's just not. I've done two charge discharge cycles with this, uh, just on receive with the 7610 until it drained out. I had a camera doing a time lapse, and now I don't have any of these fancy like battery monitor hook up to your computer kind of things. Um, but I do have an inline watt meter, and for these kind of tests, it's accurate enough. Let's get about 12 and a half amps. Um, amp hours of current uh, out of this battery and it's just garbage so uh, I figured why not just uh, destroy it so <laughs> we're gonna cut this open we're gonna find out why it sucks so bad so uh, let's make that happen safety third mm. something's happening maybe I won't need to use the Dremel okay Bit of glue under there. This is exciting. I'm really glad I don't have to use the Dremel either because that was going to get stuff everywhere. Well, I say that now. Here we are. Okay. Huh. All right. I mean, it looks to just be one, uh, one cell or one pack rather. I was expecting like individual cells in here, but it's just a, just a pack. So we'll have to go. Deeper. Okay. Because I didn't have the, the, the wherewithal to uh, discharge this battery before I started this. So let's at least, I'm not trying to die today. So this is kind of just, there's just like, I don't know if it's glued in here. Or maybe we will have to use the Dremel. Kind of like you're at the dentist. There we are. Man, this thing is like really encased in here. Okay, these are these are the pouch cells. Okay, so these aren't even. I was expecting like twenty six six fifties or something to be in here. Uh, you know, like an actual cylindrical cell, like like these but smaller. Oh wow. Um, there's your BMS. I've not seen this, this particular kind of lithium iron phosphate cell before. This is interesting. Nothing about these cells looks or feels new. You know what I mean? You just, you get that feeling of just old electronics. Well, here, there's a QR code on there. So scanning the QR code uh, provided zero results on Google. It, it just brought up the, uh, the numbers that are on here, which I'm gonna guess are like the lot numbers, uh, none of which are the same. So there's definitely not, uh, there, there's definitely mixed batches here, I would guess. They put so much silicone on these, which I guess isn't a bad thing to go all together. I mean, hey, I could probably use that BMS for something again. Maybe. I don't think the BMS is bad. I think just the cells are bad. So we salvaged the BMS, maybe. Could be garbage though, but I might could use that for a future battery project. These are called prismatic cells, I believe is what these kind of square. Because I thought they were, I thought these were going to just be like the pouches that you'd find in a lithium polymer battery, but they're not. 
I'm gonna cut this off. Cause I want just one of these cells. So yeah, that's, that's one cell. So the way a lithium iron phosphate battery works and the way a lot of batteries work, you have individual cells. Now the nominal voltage for one cell of lithium iron phosphate is, is 3.2 volts. You put four of them in series, so you have, uh, you basically start with the positive, then the negative goes into the positive, then the positive goes into the negative, the negative goes into the positive, and then you have the negative out again, okay? Just like if you put batteries in a flashlight, how they go in like that, that's putting them in series like that, so you're upping the voltage, but you're keeping the same um, amp hour. So this is one 3.2 volt 20 amp hour cell. It's really not. So they, I mean, these, these definitely look old and used and decroted. Like, that is not new. Like, this stuff, like sure I have capped on tape here, but this, this just looks old. You know what I mean? Like, look at this plastic here, and just, there's just crap on it. It's, it's, this is just falling apart. Like, something new shouldn't, shouldn't just fall apart like this. Like, this plastic is all, like, warped and stuff. So, I don't know, and these terminals, they just, they look old. They, these look like used cells is what they actually look like. Because these terminals here, where they where they have them, uh, where these are just tacked on, like the, I don't know how well you can see, but the, there's little nubs that are sticking out, and they look like they've been sheared off, like the, like they had another life before it went into this Chin's battery. Something this was definitely in service before uh, it made it to this Chin's. Like just yeah, these suck. I, I would not. <laughs> I would not recommend a Chin's battery, because that's what you're gonna get. Just for fun, I wanna see, um, I wanna check if, if these are actually balanced. This first cell is at 3.45 volts. The second cell is at 3.33, <laughs> so that's not balanced. The third cell is at 3.3, and the fourth cell is at 3.4. 3.45, 3.3, 3.3, and 3.4. So totally not balanced. Um, a, a tiny fluctuation is okay, but these are these are not balanced at all. And again, I charge discharge this twice. Uh, <laughs> so so just to show you uh, what a battery should look like, this is my 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that I built years ago with a good BMS on it and good cells. So just to show you what the voltage of a, of a good battery should be, this is 3.337, this is 3.334, this one is 3.335, and this one is 3.342. So all very, very close in uh, voltage there, not like this guy. So. I'm kind of thinking that we need to solder a black wire onto the negative terminal of this and pump it with some volts <laughs> and see what happens because uh, I'm curious. But they, they should be pretty safe. I want to I make this thing expand and hiss and uh, blow up and all that stuff. I know it's not going to blow up, but let's do some stuff. All right, so we're here at my buddy Steven's house. He's KG5 OKB. We're on his farm and uh, I figured we got four cells, so that means we should have four different ways uh, to destroy these, right? So I'm yep. thinking we're gonna overcharge it. We're gonna put it on. We're gonna set it on fire. Mm -hmm. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna drill through it, and then we're gonna shoot it. <laughs> see what happens. So let's uh, let's get to destroying these batteries. See what happens. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, try and overcharge this. So I've got uh, this is an old Radio Shack power supply going into some power pull. It's probably a bad idea. I got power pull on this, so we shall see what it takes to overcharge. See what happens uh, when we overcharge lithium iron phosphate cells. So 3.2 volts, uh, 3.6 volts is what they charge up to. We're gonna put 13.8 into it. So now we're gonna see what a lithium iron phosphate battery does in fire. 
<laughs> there you go. That'll work. Uh, yep, that, perfect. It is. <laughs> it's changing color. I see it expanding. It's expanding now. See how much fat it's getting? Yeah. Oh! 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 It went pop! Goes the weasel. Your lawn's on fire now. Huh? <laughs> oh, it'll go away. Oh, look at it going, yeah. Yeah, look at look at the flame coming out of it. Yeah. So now we know what that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we know what that does. <laughs> For my next trick, we're gonna drill a hole in it. Ooh. That didn't take long. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Show me a flame. That's no Samsung Galaxy battery. <laughs> I got one. It's sizzling though. I'm gonna shoot him directly to the hotel. <laughs> yeah, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Show me some flames. They do. They do. They just like them old smoke bottles though. You light them and they just keep getting stronger. You vape, bro? <laughs> See the carnage. Oh, hey, a little, little puffy. A little puffy. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> now, for our last scientific experiment, we're going to see what happens when you shoot a lithium iron phosphate battery with an AR-15. Oh, that was weak. <laughs> oh yeah, it's smoking. Oh, that's great. No fire though. <laughs> I'm just curious if it's gonna catch this branch on fire. <laughs> I'm not seeing any flames. Just smoke. Yeah. Oh, it's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I don't like it's making a little hissing sound of some sort, maybe. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, nothing caught on fire. Well, is everyone ready for the results? Ladies? Nothing. Well, so, <laughs> we learned a bit today. The, uh, the one that we tried overcharging, we had on for about 45 minutes, an hour, something like that, and most it did was puff up a bit. I suspect if we left it on long enough, it would... Uh, hopefully explode and then there's the drill one this uh, still a bit warm 
uh, was was quite uh, quite a violent eruption of gases, but no flames. Then the I mean, obviously shooting is uh, is the best because I love shooting. This this uh, <laughs> this was fun, but surprisingly, the one with the most carnage was the one we threw in the fire. This thing just straight up exploded, and uh, that was great. So. Now we know what happens to lithium iron phosphate batteries when we do all the things they say not to do with them. And since we didn't get any, let's call it report, out of this one, we're going to go ahead and shoot it. It's the Texas thing to do, so. <laughs> we'll let Steven have a crack at this one. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. We'll see you again in another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. <laughs> Somebody else is shooting over there. <laughs> All right, tank radio. This one's for you. There you go. There it goes. I got Just it. Just nicked top. it. Just nicked it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it go. Who the hell did you hit it? Top. See that very, very oh, yeah. top? You got it right got on the it. top. Hey. Look at that. <laughs> this is going to be, as far as the world is concerned, this is going to be a. Oh. <laughs> a one shot. Uh... <coughs> you smell yeah, that now? Go. <laughs> Woo. You smell that now, don't you? Woo. <laughs> Shit. That smells bad. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Woo. Oh, it's bad. It's huh? real bad. Here's the thummy. Huh? Here's the thumbnail. <laughs> the things we do for fun. Hell yeah, man. Aren't you glad I called you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had more fun today than I've had in a long time. Hey, yo. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it smells so bad. It does. This one smells worse than the other one did. <laughs> I wonder I wonder how bad of cancer we're going to get because of this. <laughs> I don't know, but look how thick it's getting. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Why is it? I move away from it. It comes towards me. I know. Sheesh! It knows.